And the Independent National Electoral Commission appears to have succumbed to growing public pressure by extending indefinitely the window for registration of new voters and uh, collection of the per permanent voter card. Excitement among young Nigerians about the political process also seemed to be a major gain of that, as thousands of them continue to push to be registered all over the country in readiness for next year's elections. But a good measure of doubt and concern remain over the obvious disconnect between getting registered to vote and actually turning up to vote. As was clearly evident from the recent governorship election in Ekiti State, what can be done to effectively bridge the gap? And to what extent do these young people know the choices they need to make when Poland begins in February 2023? Uh, Kolawoli Kola Johnson, rather, is a researcher and due process advocate. He now joins us. Good to have you with us, Kolawoli. So, what do you make of this scenario uh, you, with the PVC? Yeah. Uh, young people's uh, interest in voting, and of course, uh, how would you assess the process so far? Um, the registration started about 11 months ago, and um, you just you just wonder why um, there was no or why we didn't have this kind of awareness um, long ago. Uh, it's 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 of course partly you can say perhaps we're not having uh, 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 enough enough uh, orientation, but I think majorly what 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 changed the entire game? I think it's the hope uh, raised by some particular candidate um, for the young people. So not necessarily because they were not aware that this uh, that this has been ongoing, but the fact that they saw the reason uh, to actually get the PVC this time around, I think it's, it's you know, it's pouring uh, quite a number to action. Good for the system, good for the, you know, good for the polity, uh, uh, good for our democratic culture. Because if you look at it over time, uh, you, you, will, you will wonder why, uh, why, uh, why the demography with the highest population cannot effect a change in the system. But I think with this recent awareness, you know, uh, 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 they may likely be able to make a statement in this next election. So for me, I think it is good for the polity. Uh, you know, long before now, you've heard that, oh, they only exist on the social media, you know, but now they know that uh, you can, there is no polling unit on the social media. You need to leave that space, you know, to be able to actualize uh, 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 um, 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 what you're agitating for. So I think it is good. And, you know, the history of our political system uh, uh, might be uh, might be uh, tilting more or, 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 or might have tilted uh, more uh, uh, towards uh, perhaps the structural form and not necessarily the functional form. So now that the youth with that demography of the population that can affect the change are trying to drive the conversation around the functionality of the system, so I think it will help the system. Ultimately, it should not stop at uh, just going out to register. Again, you need to give INEC the window to be able to process this registration and also be able to submit uh, 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 or produce these cards for the people to, you know, to use on the election day because there will be no reason you know, to have a huge registration uh, that people would not be able to collect that same PVC to vote. And don't forget that you still have you know, quite... A number uh, of this uh, of this PVC, you know, that's, you know, that are still, you know, uh, uh, at different centers, uncollected. So I think, despite the fact that we want to register, we must be able to call it a date at some point, so that the electoral uh, 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 body will have the time to produce this for the people. You know, so it is good for the polity. However, uh, with the recent. Uh, Experience in Enkiti. It's not new. If you look at our, if you look at uh, elections over and again, we've not had this, you know, this 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 break uh, break even turnout uh, that you can say clearly uh, that uh, that uh, we have had a departure from the past. So maybe this will be, you know, that time. If you look at uh, each time you have uh, two two fifteen two nineteen, uh, turnout will range especially in zones that are not having candidates on board. I think 
We have a culture. Each time you have a, a, a zone producing the candidate, you have turnout, perhaps 45, 50%, 60, you know, no, 50 or thereabout, of course, especially the Northwest. It appears that uh, all the zones who are not having candidates uh, uh, do not see or, 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 or always witness voters' apathy. And it may not necessarily follow the same trend in the next election because of the youthful population who are getting out now to collect PVC and to vote. It is good for the system. Well, PVC collection is one thing. And what about the system that is built to frustrate the youth who actually want to occupy, you know, political positions of authority to make a change? So what about that? Isn't that a frustrating aspect for the youth as well? And how do we overcome that? Well, uh, I, 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 I deal with data and uh, fact. I don't think uh, that generalization of the system that is designed against the youth, perhaps you can help by mentioning you know, those structures, those systems that are designed against the youth. Is it, uh, is it via the process of voting or, uh, or, or, or being part of the process of uh, uh, emergence in leadership position. If it is about voting, I don't think the system is designed against the youth. <laughs> I mean, nobody stops you from collecting or from going to register. All along, the same number of youth right now that, you know, I, that I are waking up to go I mean, register. Occupying, um, positions of okay. authority. I'm not talking about, you know, going to cast votes. I'm talking about participating, occupying roles as um, you know, politicians and whatnot, like contesting for presidents even. And then you have cases like what's happened in Ikiti, vote buying, where no matter how much you push, you know, there's a, there are parties in place that are, that are positioned to, you know, frustrate um, the, the objectives of the youth, whichever way or form they, they find possible or available. Okay. Uh, uh, uh. Leadership recruitment process in Nigeria is one that, uh, of course, perhaps we need to raise more debate on that. Unfortunately, you have, you know, set of leaders who, who do not think that it is a duty of leadership to raise leaders. We have leaders who perpetually raise followers. Most of them are afraid of sun brains around them. Even when they pick, you know, some youthful ones to position, they want to make sure that they are not those who can offer the best of ideas, except some few exceptions of some leaders in the polity who are doing you know, exceptionally well in this area. But aside from that, the demography is large enough to constitute themselves into a force that can change the system. So if, for example, part of the things we have seen is the fact that uh, if a youth is, uh, of course, is aspiring to contest, for example, in this last election, he would need to cough out a hundred million naira, you know, for uh, for form alone. And what is the salary of a president, for example? It is less than sixty million for the entire four years, but is expected to you know to to, to take form alone for a hundred million. You know, not about talking to you know voters. You know, talking to especially delegates. Of course, you understand the uh, the process that in this country, once you're choosing as a delegate, it's a meal ticket. So how do you, ex or perhaps you're expecting a youth who do not have the means you know, to compete in that realm? It, it may be difficult. However, if the youth constitute themselves, that demography is, la I mean, is large enough to constitute themselves into a force, you can, get, you can form your own party, or you, can, or, or, or you can even dominate a particular party I mean, and change the system. Is the system designed against the youth? No, I think the system is just, uh, is just designed for commercialization. So if a youth, for example, has done anything, anywhere, whether with good track record or bad, as long as he's got the money, he can, of course, he can compete well in the system. For me, I think, I think the system is rather designed against good governance, not necessarily against the youth, because for one, who would invest billions to get into a position? It's an investment. You don't expect him to get there uh, 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 um, uh, 
uh, and take his or her eyes away from recouping that investment. That is the first thing they do. And investment and any investment will always come with interest. So the system is rather designed against good governance. And of course, the people are so poor that even when you advise them not to take money, you know, for voting, they tell you, of course, it is their you know, it is their court of the national cake. I remember some years back, four years ago, to be very precise, we were in Oshun State, you know, uh, 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 trying to, you know, give the people orientation, sensitization in some rural areas, advocating that they should please vote their conscience and not, uh, and not uh, 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 vote based on uh, inducement. And what we heard was shocking enough, not just in one place, it was like what they have all agreed to do. Now, of course, that they will take money that they are hungry, and they will give you different instances where you may not be able to even argue with them. And they, okay, we now said, okay, please, you can take the money and don't vote for them. Of course, again, what they said is how would they escape that? Before they take the money, they must have shown through their ballot that they actually voted, you know, to earn that money. So I think if the system, if the electoral, you know, umpire can, can, you know, can design that polling arena in a way that you do not permit anyone who has voted to show uh, um, anyone the ballot paper, we can see a change in that aspect. But you cannot take away the commercialization of, uh, 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 of our electoral process. And this is my fear. I think the, uh, the centrifugal consequences of these on development uh, may, 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 uh, uh, may not be too good for the nation. But I believe it's a process that, again, we will circumvent and move out from. Remember at a time like that, they don't even care about your vote, of course. The moment the uh, ballot uh, uh, boxes, papers are distributed, they move there, they take them, and they send the result. But sometimes, of course, we're able to move away from that. And now they now know that your vote count, but they are now buying the vote. I think we will be able to raise enough, uh, 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 perhaps, you know, a change in the system that will ensure that we will again move away from this. But before then, there is something we must do. We must address one, poverty in the land. That is a factor you can take away. If a man has not eaten for one day or is not sure of what he will eat to bed tonight and you give him 5,000 naira, he will vote against his own father. I'll give you an example, 2007 in a state, a man was running for Senate and unfortunately he has scholarship for, you know, uh, uh, a couple of persons in his community and there was this particular woman whose daughter was under that scholarship. On the election day, the woman voted against him because money was offered her. And guess what? It was, it was very small. There maybe 1,000 or thereabout. And, and the man got to know. And the woman came begging and said, please do not take your help away from my daughter. I'm so sorry. It was because I needed to eat that day. And the man was saying, that, how can you think about just one meal to mortgage the future of your daughter? But that argument was late. The woman had done, you know, what she thought was best at that moment. So as long as you have poverty in the land, it may be difficult for us to drive this change, you know, this change process. So whoever gets there now, whether it's Mr. A or B or C, it would be our duty to forget whatever process, I mean, whatever system throw them up and ensure that we hold the person accountable for good governance. These, of course, the youth we are, you know, even talking about, our demography. If you check the social media, we are still the same people that support the shenanigan of people in government. Because this one is my thief, that one is your thief. Oh, after all, your thief stole. Leave my thief for me. Who are those you see on social media defending the different atrocities, I mean, the several atrocities of, offic um, of government officials. They are still the youth. So is it that the system is designed against the youth or the youth themselves are not ready to design a system that will work for them? So I think we should ask more questions on this and subject this to more debate and interrogation for the good of the system. You know, Colonel Willie, I'm glad uh, you uh, reacted to this issue because it's been on the front burner for some time. The issue of poverty reduction has not been fully addressed uh, by government. Hence, uh, vote buying 
uh, may not go away anytime soon. And of course, uh, um, INEC was blamed for not tackling this uh, issue in AKT. But you want to ask yourself, uh, can INEC also be uh, responsible for this? So it's a big question. Now, my other question, uh, realistically, should there be a limitation to voter registration? And um, every day a young Nigerian turns 18. I would like uh, your uh, response to that, uh, based on current narratives. See, uh, political ideas are largely, you know, product of the environment you have. The material environment per time determines the ideas and the product you have on the table. We know that we have you know, a systemic, uh, uh, well, I don't want to call it, uh, okay, we need to work more on our system so that we can be more efficient and not just effective. INEC has actually improved, taking into consideration what happened in Akita State. But unfortunately, you will not have, you know, a perfect system in a day. It takes years of working and it takes, you know, innovation, you know, creativity and consistency. Of course, what we've seen in Kit, it's, it's, you know, it's quite better than what we have seen before. So if right now we are expecting INEC to register till the day of the election and still be able to you know, uh, issue out the uh, voter's card, we may not be able to achieve that. You know, I responded to a question somewhere where we were talking about uh, voting by email. I said the system we have right now, we may not be able to achieve that. So based on the present reality, there may not be uh, uh, well, it may not be realistic for us to say we can register till any point and still be able to vote. For example, if a voter turns 18 a day before the election, are you expecting him to vote? Of course not. So I agree that we must, you know, get to a stage where we'll have this exercise in a continuous process and, you know, nobody will be disenfranchised. But as it is now, the system we have, we don't have an INEC that is sophisticated beyond the society. They are still within the same society, you know, that takes time, um, uh, uh, that takes time to process passport, to process practically everything. It's not compared to your bank that you get and you get your ATM. Of course, it's, it's, it is not the same. So we must be able to uh, 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 to adjust our thinking, our product to the present system so that we won't deceive ourselves. But beyond that, what is the essence of this voting? Is it not to be able to, you know, determine a fresh direction for the nation? So the people have the opportunity, you know, to do something different. Of course, uh, during the electionary period, uh, why policy analysts will tell you that uh, political parties are agents of uh, 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 new policy directions and, uh, and a change in policy is that they are expected to come to the table uh, to the people with, with specifics what they expect to do in government. They are expected to offer you know, a different direction from whatever is not working. They are you know, expected to offer alternatives to whatever is on board that is not working so that the people themselves can say, okay, I prefer what Mr. A is um, offering. Okay, I prefer what Mr. C is uh, is an uh, offering. So by the time they vote for that person, you know, they, they most prefer what, what they uh, offer. They are expected to go to government, I mean, to, 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 to come in, into government with those directions and effect a uh, change in policy. So if you see people right now who are conversing for a better system, these are the issues that should dominate the polity. No, not some, not some, not some things we keep, you know, repeating over and again. Not some attack on individuals' personalities. So I think beyond also competence, we should check antecedents and ensure that people are offering things on the table. The youth can drive this conversation. Unfortunately, I mean, fortunately, today we have the, you know, the tool to drive it. The social media is there, so the youth should drive the conversation on specific. See, the days of I don't have shoes, I mean, I think by now we should have gone away, you know, from that. The days of, oh, he has integrity, of course it is good. Let's, let's, let's start, you know, let's start ensuring that we compel them to put specific plans on the table so we can choose what we want and expect that, okay, these are the things you will do. Not that we see things on the billboard and by the time they get to power, they said, I'm not the one that promised you this. Let's hold candidates accountable. Let's be able to have specific promises, policy directions, work plans from them so that when they get into government, so we can start marking, oh, this in three months, you've not done. This in six months, you've not done. So perhaps, 
you know, the change in the, in the, uh, in the system or how INEC operates may be part of what a candidate is operating. So my answer to that in essence is that what we have on ground now cannot accommodate continuous registration to the day of the election. However, we have the opportunity now to look at those who can make the system work better for us and bring them to power. Indeed, uh, Cody. Um, now, as a researcher, what is your data uh, saying about current uh, narratives on registration as against uh, registration, say, five to ten years ago? Oh, of course, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a tremendous improvement, tremendous improvement, especially in the last few weeks. It's, it has changed, you know, very seriously. I mean, as I may, I think, uh, I think as I may, uh, the Northwest is, is uh, already having like a year 21.2 million or thereabout in terms of uh, uh, voters registration. Uh, uh, the Southwest is having about 17 million plus or thereabout. Yeah, the, uh, but uh, I think the next is the South South with uh, maybe 14.4 and the North Central 14.2. Then uh, northeast about 12 million plus, and the southeast uh, 10.5 million thereabouts. So we are having a, tr I mean, you know, good improvement in what you have in the past. However, by the time you look at uh, uh, voting strength and the actual voters turnout, again, that is uh, an area we should look at, and that is not uh, the job of the people alone. Political parties must be involved in mobilisation. I mean, okay, if you look at, uh, if you take, for example, why is it that any zone that produces a candidate, I mean, a front, uh, 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 a front runner in the election, they always, you know, have good turnout. It is the mobilization, the awareness. 2015, uh, Northwest came first in terms of uh, 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 voters' uh, uh, turnout. Then South South came second. 2019, it was North West first, North East second. You understand what happened? The candidate, uh, uh, the front uh, 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 runners, they were in that, they were from these same zones. Of course, I, I think it was next by South West. It was also because of the awareness. So, by and large, parties must be involved in mobilization so that the uh, the excitement will not end in the number of voters we are able to register but in the number of people who are practically involved in the process of changing the narrative through their vote not alone through the noise about registration very good uh, Kola Ali johnson would like to thank you very much uh, for your perspective on those issues uh, voter registration and 2023 polls and of course uh, young people's participation as well it's good to have you